This video will talk about knowledge management and relating it to change management initiatives. We will look at the relationship of knowledge management with change management. So, but what do we look at first? We look at the knowledge management framework. We talk about people, we talk about information first, and only then, lastly, we talk about technology. Always remember that it's essential to build a change management initiatives since that's where people will come in. In this presentation, we will look at Emma Murphy from Michelle uh, Consulting, her model, which is align, enable, and sustain change. Knowledge management framework is the backbone of any knowledge management model. So in organizations that use uh, knowledge management exemplary, we always see that we need to use uh, initiatives that are looking at measuring changes, right? So what are these changes that we need to change? We need to make sure that we change at an organization level. We need to make sure that we change at a process and program level. And we need to make sure that we change at people level. Once all this is done, only then will you change the uh, technology level. Now, let's look at what William Bridges and Susan Mitchell Bridges say about change. They have said that it's important that we learn to engage people in change. It's important that we remember that they have many sensitivities that we need to look at when it comes to change. And it's also important to ensure that all steps are taken to help people respectfully let go of the past. Always remember that uh, it's difficult for people to change and you can help them with this. Now, my, my friend, Masa, will tell you how we can do this using the four Ps. Thank you, Subhatra. Let's now look at the four Ps to help people with the transition related to knowledge management. There are four steps. Step one, purpose. Change doesn't happen without transition. Let's see the example about an expertise locator system. As a law firm A grows bigger, there is uh, no more easy sharing between the lawyers. This expertise locator is an example system for starting knowing uh, knowledge. Ensure that everyone is aware of the purpose of the, of the system. This will ensure their buy in to uh, contribute in the future. The step as shown here should also be conveyed to all stakeholders. Let's look at the step two picture. Make sure uh, layers and staff are uh, able to see the big picture of this sharing, communicate this picture uh, out to them. Let them know that they will be using a web-based system able to search by expertise or the knowledge needed. Now look at step three. Next step uh, would be to communicate the plan on how to get the system going. In this example, we see that a, a team of lawyers and staff will be assembled to uh, determine, determine uh, critical issues. Let the team know that one the design has been finalized, uh, the next step will be to work on testing the system. At the step four, the part and the users. Um, end users are the final uh, piece of the, uh, of the pie. Communicate out to them what is expected from them and what they stand to uh, to gain uh, in return. In this in this example, the end users uh, can uh, participate in the previous uh, stage and in the end can uh, benefit from the end product. Now we have a complete solution to getting people to buy into our exp uh, expertise locator system. 
help people through the uh, natural zone with communication. The four P's uh, of uh, transition communications, the purpose, why we have to do this, the picture, what it will back, uh, feel like uh, when we uh, reach our goal, the plan, step by step, how we will get there, the part, uh, what you can do uh, to help us move forward. Let's uh, conclude by uh, looking at uh, examples of knowledge change models with my uh, friend Subhatra. Thank you, Masa. You can use any one of these uh, models when changing any, when doing any change management initiatives. There's basically three models that you can look at. The first one will be where the leader does the stuff. That will be the top-down model. The second one will be where everybody takes a part when, and look at the transformation, which is the capacity building models. And the final one will be get this strategy first and then do it. That will be the strategic model. Finally, I'm going to conclude today by looking at Emma Murphy's model. We look at how she has done a very good uh, alignment of leadership by putting the KM teams in place first. Then she helps to relate the leadership to with the stakeholders. And the most important thing of all is make sure that you have clear, concise communications. One important key point, this particular team has learned that it's important to keep things interesting, simple, visual. That way, the main stakeholders, the, pe the people who, who are involved, will help you push the program aside. So good luck with that, and thank you.